This is Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com. Today I'm super excited to show you guys our new shooter cabinet. It's a three-quarter size cabinet, but also comes with a pedestal, which basically makes it a full size. Uh, supports a 22-inch monitor, two guns. I'm going to show aim track guns and some gameplay in this video here. There's also optional cuts for a joystick button and USB cuts as well. Uh, comes with the cam lock system, so it goes together quick, easy. Comes with all the Plex. You can customize graphics for it yourself or have our team lay some out. So let's get to some gameplay and talk through the cabinet. All right, so I want to show off this little gun cab here. It does come with the uh, riser, the control panel, holds a couple aim track guns. You can shove about any gun you wanted to in there. Some miscellaneous buttons. Uh, this is some additional USB ports. If I can pull that up. Um, so what I did here, I'll try to zoom into this. It actually looks really good in person, but the camera kind of plays hell with it. So, um, <clears throat> So what I did here is on this control panel, I actually put a uh, joystick so you can navigate your um, you know, hyperspin or whatever you plan to use. And then I have my corn and starts gonna navigate on this build. So these are all gun games here. And this is a collection of MAME um, and a couple Sega systems. So we'll just pick a game here. Okay, so now once it loads up, I can add my money with my coin and start buttons. You can see I'm adding coins there. Uh, I'll just play one player since I'm holding the camera with the other hand. But I have both guns actually working. So you can see how those just fit in there. And there's actually a little groove right there that makes this fit in there perfect. Um, you could shove them all the way in too and they won't go all the way through. So I'll show you guys this real quick. So on this one, to shoot off the screen will reload. So see when I shoot off, I reload up. For this one here, I have um, just a hold down coin to exit. Okay, I'll show off some more games here, so. Um, why don't we do like the original House of the Dead? Something like that. So again, I press start on this one to uh, launch a game. Also, just so you know, under here is where my sensor is, and then there's a hole right there for the USB cable to go back, so it's real clean. Okay, so go ahead and hit start here. Uh, this one's running Sega Model 2, so actually, right now, my second player gun is set up as player one and then also that side button right there I have to aim off the screen and push that to reload for how I have this set up Let's see if I can get that in there you guys can see it so you can see I can aim off the screen and press the button and I reloaded there so now for these guys So that's working good. You got well, I'll shoot a couple more so you guys get the idea there. So again, I can um, hold down coin that exits me out. And we can go down, um, show lethal enforcers. Okay, so I'm adding my money. Press start. Oops. So you can see that one's working good too. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the camera and this gun. So that one works good. Um, it out of there uh, since this is a terminator cab we'll go ahead and show that one um, did 
paradise right there. Just to show kind of what that hole looks like now. I need it to zoom in again. Just real quick. So again, I got my, grab my gun. Let me see, I can shoot the Terminators here. And again, this side button, which I'm doing this one-handed, but that's how I shoot my missiles right there. Is everything looking good there? Okay, so now I want to show you guys a few more, a uh, few more games here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple of these Techno Parrot games. These are awesome. So I'm gonna show Transformers and House of the Dead Four. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit launch game. I still need to finish getting this set up uh, within Hyperspin, but I have it working on its own here. Okay, so once that loads up, you can see there that my game started. And again, this is an awesome system. Um, you can actually press start to skip. This Transformers game is awesome. So this Techno Parrot basically will play, instead of main playing the older stuff, this will actually play newer actual arcade games. So this is more Dave and Buster style, if you know what I mean. And it is just awesome. All right, so I'll uh, exit out of this and, and fire up House of the Dead 2. This is actually House of the Dead 4 running on the Techno Parrot uh, emulator here. So I'll just show some gameplay. Uh, again, this is our, our three-quarter size shooter cabinet. Uh, make sure and like the video. Visit GameRoomSolutions.com. Thanks.